if you've been wanting to make kombucha and it's felt really scary and intimidating, I am gonna break it down for you today, guys. This is not scary. If I can do it, you can do it. If you can brew tea, you can make kombucha. Stay tuned. So here are all the supplies you're going to need to start your first batch of kombucha and if you check out my blog alegacyanddays.com I have links to this tea and also where you can purchase glass jars if you need it and if you can't find a scoby from a friend I have instructions on my blog how to make one from a purchased bottle of kombucha. So to begin you're going to go ahead and boil a pot of water containing a little over a gallon because we lose some in evaporation. And then after it's come to a boil, turn it off, turn the heat off and let it cool a little bit to below boiling before adding your loose leaf tea as well as your cup of sugar and stir that up until the sugar is dissolved. Now you wanna leave your tea to steep and cool to room temp or lower. And then you can strain it into your jar and add your SCOBY. Now if you're curious, SCOBY, S, C-O-B-Y stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. Yeah, kind of yucky, but it's amazing. This is a particular SCOBY called a kombucha mushroom and they have been around for centuries, originating in the Oriental culture. Now the reason that you want to use sugar and tea with caffeine in it when you're making kombucha is because that is what the SCOBY is going to eat and turn into the amazing probiotics that do your body all the wonders and goodness. And so you're actually not going to have all that sugar and caffeine when you consume it because the SCOBY is going to be doing that consumption for you while it is brewing. I find my kombucha is ready on my first brew about three to five days in when it's still a little vinegary and has a slightly sweet smell to it still. Some people go all the way up to 14 days, but I don't prefer that. So when the first brew is done, it's now ready to decant in some seal top jars so that it can carbonate and you can add some flavorings and stuff at this point, which you'll see in a minute on the video. But you're gonna remove your SCOBY first before doing this and you want to put her, we call her her, she's a female, into a little Ziploc bag with some extra tea in it, just a little splash. Um, and then also there's a baby that forms on top of that SCOBY which you could give to a friend who wants to also start brewing some kombucha. Every time you make a batch of kombucha, that mama is going to grow a baby and you can just keep them together and they can form a big old family and you can use them together or you can share the love with somebody else. Now the fun part begins. You can add some natural fruit juice. You can add berries. During the fall, I like to add apple and cinnamon and cranberry. It's delicious. Um, this last Christmas, we did some orange zest with cranberries and it was amazing, along with some orange juice. You don't wanna go too crazy on how much orange juice or sweet juice you add because it can really um, exaggerate the carbonation process and have a little science experiment going on. But you just wanna check the ones that you've added some more uh, sweet juices to. You're gonna to wanna to check a little bit sooner because that carbonation time will be shorter the more sugar that is added. If you add ginger, for example, it might take a bit longer, but we like ginger. I've heard of people doing mint and basil, watermelon, I mean, you can get crazy with it. Mango juice and, and mango fruit is really delicious. It is very high in sugar though, so you're gonna want to check the carbonation level on your kombucha sooner. But usually, this second brew only takes about three to five days as well. So you're gonna have a batch of delicious kombucha ready to go in about a week to 10 days. That is it, you guys. I hope that this has inspired you to go make a batch of kombucha. Get your family healthy, 
get your probiotic supply restock for this cold and flu season, and I will see you later in the next video. Bye.